Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. My name is Chris if you are new and happy new year. Today's video is going to be so much fun. I am so excited to wrap up 2022 by sharing all of my favorite purchases across the board from the year. I did this video last year and you guys loved it so much. So I definitely wanted to do it again, but I have a lot of ground to cover. I have 30 favorites to share with you guys today. I just, I couldn't narrow it down. So let's not waste any time on the intro and let's just dive on into it. So if you wanna see all of my favorite purchases from 2022, then keep on watching. Okay, so this is going to be speedy we're gonna have some fast rounds. I don't want this to be a 30 minute video. I wanna be quick, so we're gonna be quick. Let's see how I do. <laughs> okay, let's start with clothing. Let's dive into my favorite tops. All of the best tops. First and foremost, I wanted to mention this brand. It's called the Line by K. I get it off of Revolve, but my God, these are like the best, most comfortable tops. I think what I love about it the most is that yes, they are basics, but they're like elevated basics. So these are the perfect tops to just throw on when you want to wear just like a simple top with an outfit, but it adds a little bit more interest just due to inside out stitching look. But also I love that it adds like some color into it. So on this one, this one is long sleeve and you can see that it has just some contrasting color of the stitching and it's like this deep maroon sort of color. On this white one, you can see that it still has like the same stitching detail, but this time in blue and in that maroon color. It's more of like an off-white color. And then I am wearing one of them right now too in the charcoal color. But on the charcoal color one, you can see that all of the stitching is unison. But these are, like I said, so freaking soft. They're like stretchy. It's made of this micromodal fabric with a little bit of spandex in it. These tops are truly incredible. You guys know I'm all about the basics and also things that can withstand trends as they come and go. And I just feel like these pieces and the other tops I'm going to mention are all just really good staples. What would a favorites video of mine be without mentioning some of my Skims favorites? Skims is just one of my top three favorite brands. I love everything. So some of the new things that I discovered this year that had just quickly become my favorites, this, let me put black in the back so it's easier to see. Maybe let's go to this color. You guys, when I find something I love, I have to get it in like every single color and obviously everything that you see throughout this whole video is going to be like no exception. Okay, so this is the Skims Cotton Raglan Vintage Tees. So I liked these because they were a little bit different than the other Skims tops that I have and it came in different colors as well. You know, apart from the standard kind of like off-white, gray, black, I love like the silver color and more of the white, but then also like this chocolate color, but all of them have kind of like a a vintage look to it. Like some of them are like a little bit more washed. And I also love the raglan detail, which means that you can see the seam details kind of come from the neckline instead of the shoulder. And another thing that I love about these is that they're not like extreme crop. They kind of brush right against your high-waisted items. So they're more of like a baby tee, I guess, if you will. They sit longer. I find that I throw these on every single day just to wear casually around the house. I also wear them for layering pieces. It's just such an easy, top to wear. So as of right now, I have it in these four colors. I try to get more every single time they come back in stock, but they do quickly go out of stock. So this is another Skims favorite of mine, and it is the cotton, I think it's super cropped t-shirt. I'm a huge fan of everything from the cotton collection. Everything is so soft. It's a little bit thicker. They're really, really, really stretchy. They're not see-through at all on me. I am here for them. And I was really excited to see the cropped option because I have there's like the regular t-shirt options, which is great for like tucking into things, but there are certain outfits that I like my stomach or my midsection to show. Everything about these is exactly the same as the other cotton tees, just the length is shorter. So if you guys have tried the t-shirts, these are the same. That goes for sizing too. I get these in a size extra small. So good. Another skins item that I've absolutely loved this year is I love their boyfriend line, but specifically I love the long sleeve. I got this heathered oatmeal color this year and it's just like been a go-to. It's like my perfect neutral color. The boyfriend tees and pretty much everything from the boyfriend line, including the boxers. The material is on the thinner side, so it is slightly see-through. I mean, you can even see the hanger through this. It is a black hanger. If you pair like a skin colored bralette with it, it won't be see-through. It'll be totally fine. But the way that this hangs and flows on your body is just 
perfection. I love it. It's so comfy. It's just so perfect to wear for lounging and sleeping, but can easily be worn out too with some jeans, with some groove pants and some leggings too. It is really long, which is really nice, but if you don't want it to just hang and be too long, you can also tuck it up into your bra like I do, or do like a French tuck into your pants too. Oh, love it. I had to mention at least one sweater this season has been the season of sweaters, and I purchased so many sweaters. I was on the hunt to find like my next perfect staple sweater. Sweaters are so difficult for me. You guys know it. I always complain about it. And I found it within Aritzia, of course, I mean. That's a given. I feel like Aritzia is just perfection. But one of Aritzia's staple sweaters, they actually turned into a waist length option. And you can also see that this is a turtleneck. It is like longer like this, and you can also just like let it hang, something like that. But what I love to do with these is I actually roll it in and it kind of creates like this wide mock neck style. I think it's really beautiful that way. But these are a merino wool slash cotton blend which makes it just so soft and cozy not itchy at all i also love the, like thicker stitching on it it makes it give like more of like a chunky look but these aren't too big too oversized they flow really nicely you can also tuck them in you could tuck it into your bra that's typically what i like to do with them too it's not too boxy it's not too fitted so all around it just makes this really great sweater the sleeves are a good length too i get these in a size extra extra small so for the next category, I wanted to get into the best bottoms. First thing up, I wanted to get into two of my favorite jeans. This is the same style, so I'm gonna keep it as one item. I did not discover this style in 2022, but I did discover these washes, and finding like good washes is just as hard as finding good denim sometimes. If I did discover these in 2022, you know I would be mentioning the Soundwave colorway. Those are the jeans I wear all of the time literally all of the time in any of my posts and any of my videos and you guys always ask oh my god what jeans are those and those are always the ones but this is the goldie 90s pinch waist style and i just found this style to be perfect for my body the pinch waist makes it so that the waist is a little bit more snug and then it still offers some room throughout the hips and the butt and then i love the straight leg typically the length like the inseam length it works for being 5'1 but sometimes because there is some variation in all of these jeans sometimes it is like an inch too long so sometimes i'll go get it hemmed up the two favorite colorways this year is drum which is like this off-white color this is my first white denim and it's taken me so long to add a white denim because i didn't want it to be like too crisp white and i also didn't want like too off-white where it looks gray and getting white jeans it can sometimes be see-through too there's just a lot of issues I find with trying to find white jeans but these have fit the bill these are just so perfect for me and given that they're in my favorite style they fit really really great the denim is 100% cotton so it doesn't offer like a ton of stretch but what I find and I always say this with the goldie jeans the more that you wear them the more that they conform to your body and they just like work with your body and they end up like looking perfect so give it like multiple wears and they will be perfect and then the next one is this dark darker wash. I've been really into darker wash denim and this is like my perfect wash. It's called Range. It is that perfect middle medium wash. It's not too blue. It's not too dark. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like sometimes when you get into the mediums, it can kind of come off like a little bit like bright blue or it can be like too dark or it can have like some yellow tones in it too. But this is like a really good neutral color. So love these so much. So I couldn't forget about summer when talking about my yearly favorites. And when I look back and think about summer, I think of these pants. I wore these pants to death every single day, especially at night. I brought them on all my vacations, bringing them into fall. Like they are just so great. These are from Zara and they're called the full length structured pants. But to me, these are just like those effortless flowy pants. They have the jawstring at the waist and they have just like this crinkle look to it they have pockets on the side and just the flow of them 
is incredible. They're not like wide leg, but not too straight leg skinny either. Just so flowy, so effortless. They go with so many things. These are hands down like my favorite summer find. I got these in so many colors. This is only three of the colors that I got, but I think I have them in like six colors total. I have a blue one, a green one too, but yeah, anyway, so good. My last favorite bottom are these Aritzia pleated pants. I feel like this is everything I would want in like a tailored pant option. They're high-waisted, they are wide leg, and they have like this pleating detail to them. I think what's really unique about these is that they are made with a suiting fabric, which gives them like this more structured look, but also the fabric is more on the thicker side too. I love that there's a belt loop here, the two pockets on the back as well. And the length is really great too. So if you are around my height, 5'1 to maybe 5'5, five, five, these would be perfect for you. Although I do get them in a double zero and I find that typically the lengths do change as the size changes. But anyways, you'll see with the heel, these are like a perfect length for me. If I was to wear them with something that's flat, like sneakers, they would be like an inch too long. So if you are around my same height, just expect that. But the color that I chose to get these in is I think matte pearl, but I feel like I need to go back and get birch or black, most likely black next, just so I can have like a light option and a dark option. These are really, really good. So if you're looking for more like a tailored look and something that is very high quality, look at these pants. So next I wanted to get into my favorite activewear lounge. This is really hard category for me to narrow it down, but I'm pretty happy with my selections. So first and foremost, I wanted to mention this fleece half set from Lululemon. This is from the men's section and I got this only like a couple months ago, but it's one of my favorites because I legit cannot take this off. I wear this every single day. It's something that I reach for and wear constantly. I have to tell myself to take it off and put something else on when I'm filming just so that I'm not wearing the same thing. It's slightly ridiculous, but this is so comfy. It keeps me so warm, yet it's still like lightweight. So it's not like too bulky and I love the way it hangs against my body too. With it being the men's section, you can see that the zipper is like really long because it's supposed to be for, I guess, a guy or like a someone who has a longer torso, but I don't mind the long zipper. And then I like the collar too because it's more of like a short collar. It's not too high, so it doesn't like bother me at all. Now that I'm looking at it, it's pretty dirty. It has lots of hair attached to it, but a really good item. And no surprise with my next item, I of course have to mention the Lululemon Align High Necks. <laughs> this isn't all of the colors. I only brought out a few, but you could just see how much I love this. Like I said at the beginning, when I find something I love, I need to get it in literally every single color, but I'm more of like a neutrals or green kind of girl. This is my realm that I stay within, but this top is so good, you guys. If you just want like a really easy everyday top to wear that has a built-in bra, look at this one. I wear it all the time for working from home. You can throw a sweatshirt over top of it. You can also wear these working out. I wear them when I row and when I do just like at home workouts. The high neck is so great because I just feel like it makes me feel really secure. This is also made for B and C cups. So adjust your sizing depending on your cup size. I also like that the built-in bra portion of this, like the band is the exact same aligned fabric. So it just sits like really nice and comfy against your body. It has a really good length too. the back scoops. I can go on and on about this top, but you absolutely need it. And then one of my favorite pants that I purchased this year and was also a new release for Lululemon was the ready to Rulu's in a straight leg option. Like they just answered all my prayers when they came out with these. Cause I'm kind of over like the joggers and then I have the crops and those are great, but I am here for straight leg. I feel like it just elongates your leg. It just looks so good. It's so comfy because you don't have anything like tied around your ankle too. So these are everything to me. I only have them in two colors right now. I have it in black and smoke spruce. I do go my normal align size in these, which is size two. I used to size down in these, but girl, I just need more room. You know what I mean? Just for more comfort. I don't want them too tight. It has a thick band at the top and they are high waisted. They do come pretty long. I just go take them into Lululemon and get them hemmed up. It's free. The Rulu fabric is softer than a lines. They're so cozy, but then they're also like a little bit on the thin side too. They have pockets, but I love to lounge in these around the house. I've slept in these a couple of times, but I also go out in these. Like if I need to run errands or just run around town, I'll throw these on. Maybe like with my Uggs and stuff, maybe throw on a 
sweatshirt. They're just so good. Another one of my favorites was the groove pants. So I think a confession on this one is that I originally had the black first. This was definitely not a 2022 purchase. I think I purchased these in 2021. However, I never like wore them that much in 2021, but in 2022, along with the fleece half zip, I've been wearing these legit every single day. I've been gravitating more towards these than any other legging that I own. Like these have been my go-tos. So for that reason, I am mentioning them. Like if I haven't been able to take these off for literally five months, then yeah, I have to mention them. They come very, very, very long. This is another item that I take into Lululemon to get hemmed up for free. These are also extremely high rise. They don't bother me, but wanted to mention that. But I love the flare on these. These are so much better than the Align like mini flare that just came out. I hands down recommend these way more. But because I was wearing the black ones to death, I decided to get the graphite gray. I get these in a size two, which is the same size as the Align's. And also the groove pant is the Align fabric. So it is Nulu and it's buttery soft. It feels amazing against your skin. It's yeah, love them. <laughs> So best outerwear, I wanted to just keep this category really small. I only have two favorites. If I had to add a third, it would be like my Sherleen jacket that I've been wearing all of the time, but it's completely sold out. So I just really don't even want to mention it. So starting off, I wanted to mention the Wonder Puff from Lululemon. This is like my little baby. I love it so much. It was the best edition. I'm so glad I got it. You guys know I love my puff jackets. I have a puff jacket in every single length. They're just like my go to jacket they're perfect for where I live but I was eyeing the long version for so long and I'm so glad I got it this year it has been my go-to I actually get a lot of compliments on this jacket when I wear it it is really warm I do find it to be a little less warm and it is lighter weight than the super puff long I also have that so just wanted to make a note of it however I find that if I wear bulkier items this jacket is better than the super puff but it's an extremely high quality jacket it has so many like bells and whistles to it too so all in all this is just like such an amazing jacket this jacket might be my favorite Aritzia find of the year it has taken me so long to find my perfect wool coat I'm just more on the petite side so it's hard to find one that is like slightly oversized not too fitted but not too long anyways I sound like Goldilocks but if you're in a similar position to me take a look at this one it's called the only mid coat I ended up getting it in two colors. I got this one first, which is called Burnt Cider. And then I ended up getting this gray one as well after the fact. This is a jacket that I'm just going to have literally until I die. It is the perfect staple coat. I also love that it's a wool cashmere blend, so it's not itchy at all. The interior is fully lined. Like you guys, this is an incredibly high quality jacket. It is single breasted too. There's just like one button right here. It's a bit shorter too, obviously given the mid in the title of the jacket. So it's just perfect for petites. It's not like too overwhelming of a jacket. And I also love that it gives like a slightly oversized fit to it. So no matter the chunky sweater, sweatshirts or hoodies that I put underneath it, like this is just gonna fit and look so good, so effortless. Oh, I love this jacket. So next up is kind of a category of its own. It's my favorite bathing suit. <sighs> you guys. Okay. So this year I discovered the brand Hunza G and I'm not joking when I tell you that this is my favorite bathing suit brand that I've ever found. This is a bathing suit where the sizing is one size fits most. So it's extremely stretchy, but I think that's one of the reasons why I love it because I don't have to fuss with trying to figure out like my perfect top size versus my bottom size. Cause I feel like those can really fluctuate. These are just hands down like the most flattering fit too. The tops are great, but the bottoms are like high waisted too and then the bum is so flattering. It's not like full coverage, but it's not like minimal coverage either. I feel like it balances right there in the middle where it makes your booty look really nice. But yeah, I honestly have gotten pretty much every single style that this comes in. This isn't all of them. I didn't want to pull them all out, but I have a few in the standard top like this where it's kind of like a straight semi scoop in the front and with thicker straps. The straps are also good like too. They stay put, they don't fall down. And then I also got the bando style too with like this little cinch in the front makes it look like a bow and this actually fits really well and stays put with my cup size and then another style that I got too was more of like a bando style straight across look but with some skinny straps as well this black one is probably the one I wear the most just because it's black honestly but then I also have a one piece and then I also have like a 
really pretty like neon green one where the top looks like this but the front part of it like twists over you guys would have seen it all over my instagram in the summertime but if you guys have never looked into 100g i highly recommend that you do you guys they are just my favorite the quality is really nice and i wore these all summer long and they all held up really great too just remember to hand wash these and lay them flat i also know that these can be kind of pricey but think about it that you're getting them as a set of the top and the bottom together versus buying them individually too so let's talk really quickly about shoes so over the summertime these birkenstocks were my favorite i wore them every single day they are extremely comfortable i'm a huge fan of birkenstock but i also love like this neutral color i have these in black too but i gravitated more towards these taupe ones more i think the style is gorgeous i love this flap kind of slide look i found these to go with everything and i would wear these for miles and miles and miles because i would bring them on vacation with me these are fully adjustable too it has a velcro front on them so you can make them perfect for your foot i also feel like these held up really well for the fact that i wore them literally all summer long these viha i think that's how you pronounce it sneakers were also another great purchase i think what i needed in my wardrobe for 2022 was a sneaker that didn't look too casual too much like a sneaker that was a little bit more professional or elevated and i feel like these fit the bill for me i love the tone of them i love that this bottom kind of gives off like an off-white look to them so that makes it easy to pair with everything but it also doesn't make it look like a stark white shoe these are also surprisingly super super comfortable i brought these with me to argentina and i wore them literally every single day i also had to mention my ultra low rise uggs ah oh, definitely the favorite of the season i've been wearing these every single day too i got them in the classic chestnut color and you know there's not much to say about these you just can't go wrong with uggs i get one every year for the ultra low rise they're just really easy to get on and off they provide like good warmth i also got these in the kid sizes i got them in a kid size three and i wear a women's five but a little hack for you guys if you didn't know try to convert them over to kid size and you can save yourself a few bucks and then my favorite booties that i purchased this year are these ones from mark fisher i am just here for lighter tone booties this season i think i bought like four pairs but these ones i've been wearing every single time i go out they pair with any jeans that i throw with it or trousers also love the pointed toe on them too but this tone i cannot forget to mention this tone it is i think like an ivory but it's so hard to find like the perfect white tone booty it is more of like an off-white but I love that it's more cool toned. I have a few other booties and it comes off like a more warm tone and they're surprisingly hard to match with things but these ones really go with everything and I also love that the heel is on the lower side. These are leather too and then the inside is all leather as well so these are just so freaking comfy but you can see that it's starting to add like some creases and stuff from wearing but I like that because these are leather shoes it's bound to happen. A quick mention is this cloth claw clip i don't want to spend a ton of time on a claw clip because i know it's just like a claw clip but this one is so good first of all it's from lululemon they came out with claw clips this year but the color of this is so pretty it is like this iridescent opal type of claw clip but i also love like the teeth on this as well it's like wide it really helps to keep my hair in place and it literally does not budge it holds all my hair which is surprising because i don't feel like it's that large and this is classified as a large claw clip but it works really really well in the latter half of this year i started purchasing more designer bags i feel like i usually only purchase like one a year so that's something i've been like too much into but i feel like that's changing <laughs> but i think i purchased like three or four this year but i would say that this is my favorite designer handbag purchase of the year it is the bottega mini jody i got it in black with silver hardware i think if i waited a little bit longer i might have preferred the gold but it's nice to have some things that have silver accents in it but i find that this bag is just so cute it's perfect for those night outs like date nights it's perfect for vacation i've been carrying it with me when i go on vacation even throughout the day too i usually hold it just by the handle like this or i'll put it in the crevice of my arm i also appreciate that the entire interior of this is leather so it's really easy to clean if i needed to it doesn't hold too much because you can see it kind of like comes to a point at the bottom but it holds my phone my wallet my chapstick lip liner keys and sometimes i can fit my camera in here too but i just find the quality of bottega bags just really nice there's a lot of tension to detail with these and i love the 
weave on the outside just like the classic Bottega look also the fact that it doesn't have logos everywhere it's nice to have a few designer pieces that don't have that but yet you know that this is Bottega just by the look of it too so it's a little bit more understated of a bag it's just it's gorgeous I love you I ended up getting a travel hair straightener with all of the trips that I did and honestly like what took me so long to get a travel hair straightener I was lugging around my Dyson hair straightener which is like legit seven pounds it's so heavy and I don't know why I don't know why I never thought to get a travel hair straightener but this has been game changer I actually still use this even when I'm not traveling it's so cute it's so compact it's so lightweight and I love that it has like this little travel case that it comes with it and you just take it off and then it expands it only has an on off switch the temperature isn't adjustable but I find that even without the adjustable temperature it still does the job it does it so well I honestly cannot say enough good things about this straightener even as an adult I struggle with acne and those just annoying zits that pop up out of nowhere especially around that time of the month and I found that these mighty patches are amazing they really do the job and they do an amazing job at eliminating cystic acne, whiteheads, and all the other types of acne that pops up on my face. I have a few different variations of it. The original one, which you can wear morning, night, it doesn't matter, but it's more noticeable on your face. And then I also ended up getting the invisible ones, and these are better for during the day. They also have a third kind, which is in my bathroom right now, that is specific for cystic acne. I find that they work fine. I don't think that they work the best, but honestly, I cannot run low on these. I need these in my bathroom at all times I threw like multiple packets in just like this one box but they're so good keeping with skincare I wanted to mention the IS clinical super serum advance plus I got like the 0.5 ounce bottle it does come in a one ounce bottle too I stayed away from vitamin C for the longest time like years because I went through trying so many different types of vitamin C and I could just never find one that actually worked but then kept my acne at bay I find that vitamin C breaks me out but I decided to reintroduce it because I needed help with my hyperpigmentation but I also just for this one specifically loved the other advantages that it had like it helps with aging also with hyperpigmentation the list kind of goes on but I just really wanted the benefits of vitamin C again on my skin and with this one oh, my saving grace it does not break me out at all it's really lightweight I wear it during the day it works perfectly under makeup I'm wearing it right now so it soaks in so nicely and I've actually started to see a difference. I feel like a lot of my hyperpigmentation and my melasma even is lightening a little bit. So I can only imagine if I just continue to use this, the results that I'll see. So I had to mention this little gem to you guys. It's magic in a bottle. I don't think I did this last year, but I have a few makeup products too that I wanted to throw in here. First is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour. It's the Contour Wands. Woo, guys, this is amazing. It is my favorite liquid bronzer I have ever used. This comes in two shades it's a light medium and then medium dark this is the light medium it is the most gorgeous color a little bit goes a long way I got this back in April and I'm still going strong and I use this every single time I put makeup on it's perfect for those light no makeup makeup days but it's really easy to layer with it too I have it layered under other bronzer at the moment but it has like this little soft tip on it and you twist it to have more come out but it comes out quite a bit but oh my god I love this I cannot live without it I have like two more on back stock because it sells out too so I cannot run out of it and then the other product is right around April March I started really getting into the laminated eyebrow look like this look that I have right now and so I really switched up my eyebrow products that I use and I switched over to using this got to be glued it is a hair like styling spiking glue but if you looked on Instagram and TikTok and everything you would see that women have been using this for their eyebrows Eyebrows. and this stuff is incredible it really does like glue your eyebrows down they do not move at all and I found like with the other ones that I've tried like the Anastasia one it just doesn't hold it like this like in place so I love this one and it's so inexpensive it comes in a pack of two or at least the one I got off of Amazon it came in a pack of two but I'm still on the first one like I haven't even opened this one at all I can't even believe it there's so much product in this and then I just use a disposable spoolie with it very last category 
category. We've made it here. I have no idea how long this video is, but we're getting into like the home tech fitness miscellaneous category. I ended up getting an iPad Pro in January, and this has been my favorite tech purchase of the year. It is just so versatile and so smart too. If I don't want to carry my laptop with me, everything for my laptop is on here, like all of my documents and all of that. And that's typically when I bust out the keyboard. I'll talk about this in a second and type with the keyboard. So I do like work on this, but then I also have the pencil and I do more like note taking for work or I have a digital planner on here. Or if you really wanted to like draw, you can do all of that. I also take it with me on trips, obviously for like the airplane with movies and videos. So it's just extremely versatile. And then for the keyboard, I ended up getting the black one. This is what the magic keyboard. It is extremely heavy as a set if you put the iPad in here, but I love the structure of this keyboard because it has the mouse versus the other one that doesn't, but it's really easy to type on here. It feels really similar to my MacBook. The keys are a little bit more like compressed and together, but yeah, the iPad, it just kind of like snaps into place. Can I do this one handed at an angle? There you go. And then it all closes. I like that it has a charger on the side too. This is pretty dirty. I should have cleaned it before sitting down to film, but of course I didn't. And then when I don't want the keyboard or if I want it to be like a little bit lighter, I also have just a case like this that I got off of Amazon. Just black, it has transparent on the back. But what I love about this is that it does have a slot for my pencil because as you can see with this setup, the pencil just stays right here. So sometimes it like falls out versus this. It's like in here secure and it all stays together. So for 2022, reading was a big part of my life. I set a goal for myself to read more in 2022 and I'm so happy that I stuck to it and achieved the goal that I set out for myself. It has been so nice to challenge myself but then also a good release to let my brain just relax from stress and anxiety and wander off into another world. I found just so much peace with it and love with it. So with that I wanted to mention a couple of favorite books. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. I'm just going to mention a few titles and then just check it out for yourself. But with it, I did get a Kindle this year. Well, I had a Kindle. I upgraded my Kindle this year. I bring this with me when I travel, but otherwise I really love like physical books more. So a couple in the category of romance, rom-coms, or young romance type of books. One of my favorites was Reminders of Him. I read this on the plane to Argentina and I finished it on the plane. Like I started and finished it. It is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite books. A few others in that same category is Things We Never Got Over. I'm really excited that they're coming out with a second book. This one is on the thicker side too, but I have really enjoyed discovering Lucy's score. I have read, I think four or five books from her and a majority of them I just love, like five stars. I think that they're really, really good. Of course, I had to mention the It Ends With Us series. So the Ends With Us, but also It Starts With Us that came out in October. These are really quick reads and they are emotional and they're just really incredible. Every Summer After was another one that was one of my favorites. And this is just one of those books that I kind of like thought of for a while after reading it. Honestly, same with Things We Never Got Over. Oh my God, so good. If you want one that's kind of like a romance, but one that's also kind of like a thriller and a mystery, read Verity from Colleen Hoover. Oh, so good. It was unlike any book that I really read. Like I don't like horror or thriller type of books, but this one, it kept me intrigued and and I read it in one day. It's so good. The last book with Project Hail Mary. This is my first time like really venturing outside of my comfort zone with like my romance and getting more into sci-fi science type of books. If you are like me and want to like venture into it, this is a good segue book for that. It's witty. You can really understand the main character and the way that the author wrote the book with all the math and the science terms. Everything is really easy to digest as well. It's also like a warming story. It really keeps your attention and interest the whole time through. It's it's really good. Okay, guys, let's mention some cutting boards right now. This was an amazing find this year. This is from the brand 
Ironman Ironwood and I got them off of Amazon and it's so hard to find like good quality thick pretty looking cutting boards at a reasonable price point because any of them that you find is like $200 and no ma'am I'm not doing that so I've actually gotten three these two and then there's one downstairs I'll insert a video it's a lot bigger it's more of like a display one you could display meats cheeses whatever you wanted to do with it but we have like a vase and stuff on it right now while we're not using it so that's where we store it if you will but these two are more used on the daily so this one has a groove cut out so that's perfect for meats my boyfriend's Argentinian so we eat lots of meat in this household lots of sausage too and I love how big this cutting board is so you can put some big cuts on it it's perfect and then the second one is pretty similar to the first one it just doesn't have the grooves on it it's also a little bit deeper of a color but it's smooth on one side it's not necessarily reversible because it has these little grippy things on it to keep the cutting board from moving which I really like but I love the tone of the wood it's absolutely gorgeous my very last favorite purchase of the year was my rowing machine I ended up getting a hydro wave oh you guys it is such a great rowing machine a lot went into it when trying to select the rowing machine that worked best for my needs and what I wanted because there's definitely a lot on the market but I wanted one that had a screen and that had classes because it helps to keep me engaged helps to push me because when I was in CrossFit we did not have the ones with the screens it was just like the standard rowing with the tiny screen that just counted your meters I love rowing it is a whole body workout I think it works like 86% of your muscles so for those days where you really don't want to work out like this is the workout to do you could just hop on there for 10 15 minutes and afterwards I just feel so accomplished I also love all of the classes and everything that they have to offer all of the instructors are like full-on athletes like professional athletes Olympians like it's so cool to hear their stories as they're rowing but they also help to teach you like how to row your form what to look at they're funny I don't know I just love it and they also have classes updated daily they have like little challenges and all like that sort of stuff too so if you're looking for a rower I would highly recommend hydro they have the wave which is the newest one that launched in June which is a more affordable option but then they also have their original hydro too love 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 the company as a whole as well all right well that wraps up all of my favorite purchases from the year if you guys watch my videos you know what's up everything that I talked about throughout this whole video everything is linked down below including my size measurements too as a reference for you guys but given that this is my last video of the year I wanted to take a moment and just thank you guys thank you for all of the love and the support that you've given me throughout this entire year I consider you guys all friends and I love you guys so much I hope you guys have an amazing new year's and I cannot wait to spend 2023 with you until my next video bye guys Mwah.